Okay, so my name is Katwanitra. Uh, here at Natek, I teach engines and transmission systems. Yeah, so today I want us to look at the, how the gearbox operates. So to help us explain that one, we have a model of a manual gearbox, which is going us, which is going to help us understand how the gearbox operates in the in the bag. So what we have here is a model of the manual gearbox. And now, basically, there are three types of gearboxes: we have the sliding mesh gearbox, the constant mesh gearbox, and the, the synchro mesh gearbox. So the sliding mesh gearbox is the one which we have here. So in the sliding mesh gearbox, when you are engaging a gear, the entire gear will have to slide. So when you want to engage a gear, the, the whole gear, like this one, it will slide into engagement with it, one, one gear, with the other gear. So when you want to understand the gearbox, the gearbox has three main shafts. So BET, a sliding mesh gearbox constant or synchro mesh gearboxes, they have the same number of shafts. So we have the input shaft, which is represented by this shaft here and this gear. So this input shaft is connected to the engine. So the connection to the engine is the input shaft is connected through the clutch. So the input shaft will be connected to the engine through the clutch and connected to the input shaft is the ray shaft which is down here. So this one here is the ray shaft and the ray shaft is, is in constant mesh with the input shaft such that when the input shaft rotates even the ray shaft it will rotate. So as you can see the, this one is not rotating but as I'm rotating this one, the input shaft, or as I'm rotating the engine, in this case, this ray shaft, it, will, it is rotating. So this ray shaft, it will be doing this all the time. As long as the input shaft is connected to the engine, the ray shaft will rotate. And then what, and the other shaft, the third shaft which you have is the output shaft, which we can say is the main shaft. So this output shaft which starts from here and on the other side here is connected to the wheels through the propeller shaft. So the, when, when the output shaft rotates, it means you have to engage into a gear and then the wheels will start to, to rotate. And the, the, how we achieve gears, different ratios of gears in the one gearbox. See? We have um, gears on the main shaft and gears on the relay shaft. So if you have got, for example, if you have a smaller gear on the relay shaft driving a big gear on the main shaft, it means we have the, the, we have the slow gear, which means the output shaft will be rotating slow. Now what that does is the slower rotating of the main shaft who, have, who provide more power at the wheels. So when you have a, a slower rotating output shaft to, to the out to the relationship speed, it means the power at the wheels is increased. So now the gearbox, it will give you the driving condition. When you want more power, you know which appropriate gear to engage. All it you do is you engage a gear which will cause the wheels to stand slower as compared to the engine. When you want to overdrive, it means you want more speed, so you just engage the gear which will give you more speed on the wheels as compared to the speed of the engine. 